Welcome to another edition of creating software for your iPad or iPhone. In this particular demonstration we're going to work with text fields and how to use the, the keyboard, dismissing it, using it, um, working with the whole system there. Now a couple things to consider on this. When you're designing your user interface you may have an active, static, or passive control in the system. Uh, basic active control is something that will trigger a method or a piece of code, like a button. A static control can't be directly interacted with by the user. That would be th such things as labels. A passive control will hold a value until the user needs it, uh, until the software needs it for the user. This might be a text field or a slider or something like that. Um, you can you do need to consider that all of your controls are subclasses of the UI control class so they are capable of triggering a method or they can be used also as static or passive controls as well. So I'm starting a new project for this one. I'm going to make it a view based application. We're not going to do anything real fancy with this and I'm just going to call it a text box. So I've got my text view controller header file and in my interface I need to add a couple of controls for the interface so I'm going to go with a UI text field and I'll call the first one um, uh, name field and the second one's going to be a number field just so that we can demonstrate both and we'll set up our properties Both of these are going to be outlets. Okay, so we've got all the information we need in our header file. Let's move over to the main. In our main, all we need to do is synthesize our two fields. and we don't want to forget to release the, both of these fields. Okay, now we're ready to head out. Well, let's make sure we got both files saved, so Command S. So we got both files saved, and let's go over to the nib file. Now in the nib file, I'm going to add a couple of labels to give some instructions to the user and a couple of text fields. Make that a little bigger. There we go. That label one is just going to tell the user that they need to enter a name. So let's go ahead and open up our inspector. So option one. Um, we'll just give them some instructions like basic information like name. And this one is number. All right. Go to the text field. Now in the text field there's quite a few different attributes that are available to us. You can put a placeholder piece of information in there. The placeholder will automatically disappear once the person starts typing information in. It's just simply a string of information when there's no text entered yet. So we could put please enter your name here. And then we could do the same with the placeholder for number. Uh, please enter your number. There we go. You can set backgrounds, you can disable, have alignment left, center, right. Um, if you want a border, you got control over that or rounded, um, as well as other types of traits that you might want. Uh, for our number field, what kind of keyboard we want? Well, we want it to be a number pad. So we'll select number pad on number, so it'll automatically bring up numbers and not the alphabetic. Uh, keyboard for the name will set to the default. 
that should take care of anything that we need to be anything we need to do for this particular situation though we might go with an email if you're wanting asking for somebody's email address capitalization we're not going to tell it to do any special capitalization here though we could um, capitalizing words would make sense in a name since the first letter is usually going to be capitalized so I'm going to go ahead and do that uh, just so it looks good um, obviously we got a few other controls here that you can play around with to make it all look really good so should be set to go then um, there are a few other controls if you scroll down as you can see um, that you can play with I recommend against doing too much with the alpha alpha really ups dynamically the amount of processing required so it's usually a good idea to leave the alpha at one so it's not opaque at all and it's ready to it can be seen fully and visibly anytime you start throwing in alpha calculations you dramatically pull on your uh, processor so we don't want to do that okay so we've got our name and our number uh, we just simply need to create our uh, connection with the file owner so I'll set that to the name field and we'll do file owner to my number to the number field there we go if you want to see then how these are attached you can go to the uh, connections and you see that it is connected there name field and number field so everything is set to go if let, let's go ahead and run and compile and you can see how this is running so we'll do a build and run so as you can see we're up and running I've clicked inside the name I'm ready to enter a name and everything works correctly now we've got a little problem here though we can't get rid of the keyboard I can switch to the other text box and enter a number without any difficulty at all and delete something but again I cannot simply dismiss the keyboard so if we run into the problem of needing to dismiss the keyboard we need to tell it to basically go away that's fairly easily done so I'm gonna go ahead and close the application here and go back to my uh, my Xcode 